That was a random tangent. Makes my stinking day. It makes my stinking day. Welcome back. So I've got Friday Favorites and Fooies for you today and I would say overall it was another kind of random sort of a week but I was definitely liking new lip combos. I did this eye look several times and I really really like this. It's based on somebody else's tutorial so I'll kind of go over this a little bit and yeah some other random things. Oh some new at the drugstore goodies that I'm loving. I need to film another one of those videos for y'all because I'm finding more goodies and trying them out. So anyway but this is Friday Favorites and Fooies. So let's get to the Friday Favorites and Fooies. So before I get into this specific eye look I was using my TARDIS Pro a lot this week both with this eye look I'm wearing it today and also just by itself not doing this eye look. I just think this is such a pretty palette. Um, I really honestly haven't watched a lot of reviews on this palette, but I've heard that it kind of got like mixed reviews, but I like it. I think it's really nice. The thing I would change about it is I wish there were more um, like shimmery metallic shades, but that's just a personal preference. I just love shimmery metallic shades and I think that they're beautiful. So I would love if they did like at least one other row of shimmery metallic shades, but the ones that are in here are beautiful. I mean, these matte shades like blend like a dream. So I have some of the like warmer tones in my crease today, but the whole palette is just lovely. Lovely. Oh, I said the word lovely. I really don't say that word a lot, but I really like that word. That's a random tangent. But when I'm watching videos and people say, oh, it's just lovely, or even in life and people say lovely, I think that's such a cute word. So maybe I'm trying to put it into my regular vernacular. So here we go. It's a lovely palette. <laughs> that was a random tangent, but look at these shadows. They're beautiful. They really are so nice. Look how pigmented those are. They blend really well. They wear really well. So I don't have any complaints about it other than I would love if there were another row there of the shimmery shades. So yeah, I do have a get ready with me video using this palette and I did kind of like a darker more dramatic sort of a makeup look so I will link it in a card for you guys. So this specific eye look I love this and honestly I don't know if I would have ever thought to put these colors together but I saw Nikki Tutorials do this look I think it was before Thanksgiving just kind of like a a different sort of a holiday look and I just loved it so I tried it and I think it's just a beautiful color combo and basically it's just warm tones in the crease and the outer corner and then a silvery color on the lid and then you can do kind of whatever you want on the lower lash line i think she did i'm pretty sure she did warm tones so i did warm tones on my lower lash line i think she did too but anyway this is really kind of the star of the show the like warm tones in the crease and then that silvery color on the lid it's such a cool contrast i love it so I did this look both with Makeup Geek, not today, but throughout the week. I did it with Makeup Geek shadows in my crease, and then also today I have Tarte shadows in my crease. So today I've got Innocent and Whimsy and a little bit of Bold. So I have those in my crease today. And then I think Makeup Geek I use like Creme Brulee, um, Cocoa Bear, uh, and Chickadee. I think those are the ones I used. Oh look, that like dyed my finger from when I was swatching before. Okay, so just warm tones in the crease. So there's that. There are those. And then the silvery shade that I kept grabbing for this week. Those are really, really pretty. Love that one. That one is Whimsy. That's amazing. And then um, the silvery color is Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow in High Wire, which is almost kind of like a it has a slightly blue tint to it, I feel like, which is just really cool. I think that's what makes this look so cool, is that it's just a stark contrast. That you have very warm tones and then a very like light, cool tone. So just really, really neat. I have no idea why I did this swatch that direction all by itself, <laughs> but there it is. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm so hard on myself about my swatches, but it's just kind of entertaining to me when I do something random. So there's my random swatch by itself, but look at that beautiful color. So amazing. Her foil shadows are just incredible. If you love metallic-y, intense, um, just really like statement metallic looks on your lid, 
try her foil shadows. They are some of my very, very favorite shadows to reach for, for that kind of a look. If I just want a dramatic metallic sort of a lid, I reach for her foil shadows a lot. I am just loving all this new stuff in the drugstore. It makes me so excited. So I've been grabbing for these two blushes this week and I love them. These are the Physician's Formula Butter Blushes. So if you love the Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula, they now have blushes. So the first color is Plum Rose. So I think there's just two different shades um, out in the line. I don't think they released any more colors. So Plum Rose is this one. So this is kind of a neutrally everyday, I don't know, just kind of neutral, nudie pink. It looks, I mean, pretty light in the swatch, but it's just a great everyday color. And then the other one is Natural Glow. Now this one is very light and you guys, I mean, clearly I'm fair complected. So if it's light on me and I really have to build it up, I think this is going to be, well, I was going to say, I think this might be one that might not work for everybody, but honestly, no, looking at it, I think it would be a great highlight for, you know, dark, deeper skin tones and then kind of a blush topper for lighter skin tones. So there is that one. That is the glowy one. That's natural glow. And then the other one is plum rose right there. So I'm wearing them both together. I do have a highlighter up here at the very top, but this kind of glow down like here on my cheeks, that is natural glow. So it just makes, this combo just makes a beautiful everyday sort of a blush. Just a really nice look to them. Really, really pretty. They're pretty by themselves. I don't necessarily love this one by itself. Um, I like this as a blush topper. So I've been wearing it with this one like together, but this one by itself is still really, really pretty. They're both pretty, but I just prefer this one with something else. As far as formula on these go, it's still got that like really nice buttery texture like the bronzer. So I love how it feels. It's just a nice texture to it. But these also are kind of like the Clinique um, Cheek Pops in that they really can be like built up. They're easy to work with, but these are more of a buttery texture than the Clinique Cheek Pops. I love the texture of the Cheek Pops, so I'm not saying that's a bad texture. This one just has a different sort of a feel to it. Um, and I feel like these need to be built up just a little bit more than the Cheek Pops, but I still really, really like them. Kind of bulky packaging, so I would love if it were like a little bit thinner. It comes with that weird little spongy situation. Um, so I love if it weren't so like bulky, but it's cute to look at, so. Cute packaging, nice blushes. Another new product at the drugstore, and I am gonna film another what's new at the drugstore haul and first impressions video soon, so be watching for that. But another new product are these lipsticks from Maybelline. These are the Color Sensational Into Matte Nudes. So there are 10 different shades. I do already have a lip swatch party and review video on these lipsticks, so I will link it in a card for you. But anyway, 10 different shades. They're all supposed to be like nudes, but really they're kind of more everyday sort of colors. So the standout for me is 540 Peach Buff. I wore this one a couple of times this week and I just think it's really, really pretty. It's like a pinky, like a pinky everyday kind of a color, but still really sweet, like a sweet pink. You know what I mean? Really nice. These are very creamy. They remind me a lot of the Loaded Bowls as far as formula goes. Um, and there are a lot of like nudes, but also pinky, mauve peachy sort of shades in the line. So check out the video to see like, you know, what all the colors are. But this one I wore this week, 540 Peach Buff, and I really enjoyed it. The combo that I'm wearing on my lips right now, I really, really like. It's just a beautiful everyday nude kind of a lip combo. I really, really like these individually, but I also love them together. I already mentioned this product last week. This is one of the Mali H3 lip glosses. This is in T Rose. I did get this from Octoly. And then this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lip Color, and this is in Hemp. So let me show you these. Hemp is so pretty. I, I love these. I mean, I don't even know what all I can say about them. I love them so much. The scent on them just makes my stinking day. It makes my stinking day because they smell like brownie batter. I mean, just the most amazing scent and the most amazing formula too. So there is hemp, 
really, really pretty kind of like warm toned, slightly peachy sort of a nude. Just gorgeous. And then Tea Rose is, well, you already saw this last week, but this is a beautiful kind of shimmery, borderline metallic sort of a pink gloss. Ooh, it is pretty. It is pretty by itself, but it is really pretty with hemp too. You can see what they look like together on my lips. Just both gorgeous. Beautiful products, they perform really nicely. These are so comfortable. Not transfer proof, but super duper comfortable. They wear nicely, they don't get all weird like most liquid lipsticks. So I love that about them. These are just super comfortable glosses. They're great. So yeah, that's the combo that I'm wearing. And I wore this a couple times this week. I really liked it. Something that I tried out this week that I have a favorite from and also sadly a fooey from is this set from Pure. This is the Perfect Matte five piece full size velvet matte liquid lipstick collection with lip oil. Super long name. So I got this through Octoly. They sent it to me to try out and I'm gonna run through the different colors tell you which one is my favorite and which one is my fooey for the week. And then also, what do I think about the formula? So this one is Obey. This was one of my favorites for the week. I really like this because it's like a peachy nude. It's really, really pretty. Just a great like everyday nude sort of a color. This one is Obsessed. I did wear this one this week and I liked it, um, but these kind of warm toned pinks aren't necessarily like my absolute favorites. So it's not a standout fav favorite for me. I like the formula on it, but the color just wasn't like a standout favorite for the week. This one is Addiction. This is my fooey for the week, and I'll tell you more in a second. This one is Key Red. I have not tried that one out yet, but just in a swatch, it looks like just a really beautiful red. It seems to swatch really nicely. So going back to Addiction, the reason this one is a fooey for me by itself is because when I first put it on, I really liked it, but it almost immediately started fading in the middle of my lips. Not necessarily the line, but just most of the color, except for the like outer part of my lips, was immediately fading. So I looked like I was wearing an ombre lip, but I wasn't. I was just wearing this lip color. So by itself, I did not like it. Um, but then I put the oil over it, and that helped a lot. It helped to even it out, felt really nice and hydrating on my lips, so that kind of saved it. And it made it look really nice and glossy. So I think with the oil, it's workable. Um, but by itself, I don't like that one. But overall, I would say that this set is nice because you have the little, like, you know, cute little lids on it and you get five of them. It's Well, including the oil, you get four colors and then the oil. Really cute. And honestly, I like three of the four. This one, I probably just wouldn't grab for that one again um, just because I wouldn't have to always wear it with the oil. But the other ones, I would definitely wear those. As far as formula, they're kind of like um, moussey, so they remind me of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams or the um, Body Shop, what are those called? Matte Liquids or something like that. So they have that kind of like moussey, um, fluffier sort of a texture to them. I like them. I think they feel nice. Not the most comfortable liquid lipsticks I've ever worn, but they're also more transfer proof than some of the really super comfortable ones that I've worn. So, anywho. There's that set, but my standout favorite for the week is Obey, and my fooey for the week is Addiction. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites and my fooey for the week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.